Hi, I'm John. I, um, I wear hearing aids like a lot of you men do or women and I've been looking for a solution for streaming from my TV through my audio video receiver or my AV receiver. I have a Yamaha uh, TSR7850 but I think a lot of the AVC receivers are pretty much the same so maybe this video will help you. What we're talking about here is um, I purchased this uh, Signia Streamline TV streamer. So it's designed to allow you to um, take any audio signal from your TV or your AV receiver and send that to your hearing aids by Bluetooth. So this is what the unit looks like right here. Pretty compact unit and um, this Signia makes a couple different brands. This one are models. This is the TV03. There's also another one that handles some other hearing aid brands. I wear the True Hearing hearing aids, but I think this is also the same one that's used for most Siemens hearing aids. So if you have any question at all, uh, go to the store that you bought the hearing aids from and find out what they recommend and then of course you can do a search on Amazon to be able to find the best price. Now your audiologist is going to have one that they can sell you. In my case it was considerably more expensive than buying it from Amazon um, but they do provide the service of helping you out and introducing you to it and so there definitely is some value there. So in addition to the actual Bluetooth uh, stream uh, device, the hardware, they give you a cable um, like this, which is a digital out cable. I was not able to use this on my AV receiver because I don't have any digital outs. The only digital audio jacks that I have on my receiver are the jacks for audio in coming from another device. So this was not helpful. So what I did um, was to use the other output jacks that you get. These are uh, the typical audio right and left, white, red and white, and uh, this patch cord came with it. And so you attach this to um, the back of your streaming device, and then you take the other two and you attach those to the back of your AV receiver. So what I'm showing here is a um, illustration from my manual of what the back of my AV receiver looks like. And now you can see the actual back as um, you can see identified here what are called zone out zone two. So these are typically used in an AV receiver. If you want a second set of speakers playing to a different room, you would be able to um, hook up speakers to these outputs. But we want to use zone two for the streaming device for your hearing aids. So that patch cord for your streaming device, the other end of it will plug into those two um, jacks and that will complete the setup for the hardware. So there are just um, three settings you might want to consider changing on your AV receiver in order for the streaming hearing aids to work. And so um, what I'm showing is the remote on my AV receiver, which is over there. And on the remote is the gear wheel, which is settings. And when I push settings up on the TV, will come up all of the different settings. And so on the speaker, we have to make sure that um, when we click speaker in the menu, <clears throat> we wanna make sure that uh, we're looking at the power amp assignment and we want that to be on basic. So. If basic isn't checked, it should be. The other three will not allow you to utilize zone two in what's called a fixed volume setting. And it needs to be in a fixed volume setting so that you can control the volume with your app and not with the uh, TV controls themselves, okay? So basic is what you want there. And then you'll return out of that menu and we'll come down to the, or we'll come back out of that menu totally so that we're not in the speaker anymore. And you're gonna come down to multi-zone and there we're talking about whether you're gonna have <clears throat> your zone two, how your zone two is gonna operate. 
And so when I select zone two, I want to come down to zone two, look at the settings on it. I'm using the remote to do that. And on volume, you want to cursor right or left until you get to fixed. So fixed is what you want. And um, then you can back back out of this menu again. And if you want, you can come down. If you have a party mode in yours, you can come down and also select party mode and turn it on. So you turn it on by using your cursor keys to enable it. So the party zone, basically, if you accidentally turn off zone two and um, you can always hit the party zone button if you have one on your remote control and it'll do the same thing. It'll play the audio through the zone two jack. So that's basically all you have to do in terms of the setting for your AV receiver. Remember, these are settings on your AV receiver. This is not the menu for your TV. It's the menu for your AV receiver, okay? That's it. Now you are ready to um, plug in the device. Now that you have the audio jacks plugged in, you plug the power cable in and you'll see the red light that comes on on the very face of the streaming device. And um, at this point, you can pair your hearing aids with the device, or you can wait till later to do that, either one. So now that the streaming device is properly cabled to your AV receiver and powered up and you have a red light, uh, you have to address one issue with the surround sound receiver, and that is to turn on zone two. By default, it's turned off. So on my model, uh, there's a couple ways you can do it, but the easiest way to do it is to take the remote control for the AV receiver, and at the very top, there's a toggle switch there's one side says main, the other side says zone two. And so with the AV receiver powered on, you would switch it from main to zone two, and then you would hit the power button, and it'll show on the display either zone two on or zone two off. And so you want to hit the power button until it says zone two on. And so while zone two is on the display as on, you need to quickly begin to use the input keys also on the remote control and begin to browse through the available inputs until you find main zone sync. And as soon as you find main zone sync and it'll display on the front panel of your AV receiver, just stay on it until it disappears. There's no enter key to enter it, but, um, what that allows you to do is whether you're watching a DVD or a VCR or streaming, whatever the main input for an output for audio is, that's what will also stream to your device. Otherwise, every time you change an input on your AV receiver to watch and listen to any other um, device, you're going to have to change the input manually. But Main Zone Sync sets that up so that it happens for you all the time. Now, before you mess any settings up, um, return to your remote control, the toggle switch at the top. Make sure that you slide the toggle back toward main. You don't want to be um, operating the remote control on your surround sound receiver and changing zone two back to off again. So just keep it in main. You want now that zone two is turned on and everything's connected, when you power it up and when you turn on your AV receiver, you'll see in this case, um, I'm operating through an Apple TV, but it's, um, it's just another input device. And as soon as the Apple TV begins to output audio, you'll see the red light on the streaming device turn to two green lights. That means it is now receiving an audio signal coming out of zone two and uh, ready then to Bluetooth stream to your hearing aids. So now it's time, if you haven't already, to consider downloading the Signia app from your app store and um, downloading that to your phone. It has a streaming setting that allows you to click on that menu. So when you open up the, the app uh, and you hit streaming, once the, um, once the hearing aids connect, there will be a play button, a red play button. You'll be able to play it. That will turn on the streaming device. 
you'll begin to hear the sound coming through your hearing aids. And then, just like your normal app for your hearing aid, for this streaming portion, you'll have independent volume. So what you're listening to from other conversations will still be have its volume set. It doesn't change that. But for streaming, what you have coming from your streaming device, you have independent control on it. So I highly recommend that you use the Signia app and then you don't really need the other app anymore. Um, it would be redundant, but um, I recommend it. It's very useful. When you turn your system on, you always have to start the app and you have to hit the play button on the streaming choice in order for it to start streaming. It won't stream to your hearing aids automatically every time you turn on the television. And that's a good thing because if somebody else in your house turns on the TV to watch something, you don't want that volume coming through your hearing aids. Okay. So check the notes below this video. I'm including a link that will reach a document that outlines all that I've covered here. That's it. I hope this is helpful. See you soon.